take a quick look at the Zojo project file formats. So I'm going to go to preferences here and you can see in the preferences there are three file formats. There's binary, this is the default, it saves your file as a self-contained binary file. XML is similar but it's actual a single XML file and text is a series of text-based files for each item in your project. So let's see how each of these work. I'm going to save this project as binary to the desktop. And you can see here in Finder, files there, it's about 11 megabytes. This is a binary file, so you can't really open it and read it or look at it or anything like that. It's kind of self-contained. Now let's take a look at how that compares to XML. So I'll just drop the format here to choose XML. And you can see it in the Finder, it's a bit bigger, it's 22 megabytes. But we can also view this because it's actually XML. So if I open it in Visual Studio Code, you can see the XML. And like all XML, you know, there's lots of stuff in here, lots of tags and things, but you can read it and it is a useful single file format that is readable. The last format is the text format, just called Zojo Project. This format is text files. It's great to put these in its own folder because you're going to get a lot of text files. So I'm going to create a folder here and then tell it to save it into that folder. When I do this, you'll see the folder and then within it you're going to see a file essentially for every project item. And each of these files are pretty small. So if I click on one, you can see that you know it's just a few hundred bytes here for that one. Uh, the customer details window is bigger, that's 45k, and you can see what it looks like when you drag it into Visual Studio Code, again, because it's just plain text, there's some setup stuff for the layout, but then the actual source code is right in here that you can view. So, very handy. I do recommend that you stick with the text file format, if at all possible, so set that to your default project type. The text file format is great for working with source control systems such as Git and Subversion.